Hello guys, Average here. Today we're going to make a uh, super wagon. So get rid of those things here. So uh, what are the bodies to choose from? Uh, they all look terrible. Mostly the new ones. I think we're gonna go with a... Uh, the 2009 wagon body with 2.8 meters wheelbase uh, make it out of uh, partial aluminum just because it's uh, slightly lighter monocoque chassis uh, regular steel front what kind of engine do we want we should go for transverse, most probably a uh, V6 or or an inline for uh, Mac persons in the front. Is it is it ever worth to give it double wishbones? Let's go with uh, MacPherson struts then. What about the rear? Trailing arm. Make it nice and simple. Increase the quality, of course. I think we're going for an inline four or five. We might go for five. I I think we can put it in. It might be too big. We will see. Uh, it's going to be three liter or 2.6, 0.8. Oh, regular 3-liter engine. It is long. Uh, we're going for all-wheel drive. Uh, all aluminum block, dual overhead cams with valve lift, uh, make them out of the cheapest materials. Is it cheaper? No, it's... We will go for... Whatever you spell it, cast. We will turbo the shit out of this car. So keep the compression down, even even smaller. Valve timing, plus one on quality. Turbocharge it for fuel economy. Multipoint EFI. Maybe per cylinder. Yeah, let's do this. Regular fuel. Uh, we want to make it as fuel efficient as possible, so we're going for 14.7. Uh, do not mess with the RPM limit, just now. No bypass valves, maybe increase the diameter by a bit. With three-way cat and reverse flow muffler. And 
I didn't expect that. It's it's actually really good. I don't have to do anything with it. What if I... Can I fuck this up a bit? No, it only decreases the fuel economy. What if I decrease the inter intercooler size? There is actually no point to go over 6,000 RPM. Uh, so... If the engine can withstand 6.9 thousand, we can go for a... Stroker engine. and decrease the it didn't change much Maybe we can even go for a low friction cast then, but we have to go back to the... Thirty two percent fuel economy here. Can we do something about the... Oh boy, it's going way up. Can we cre increase the timing now? 32.3 We're doing good! Wagon body. Increased quality. What about the morph points? Uh, what can I do with it? I have an idea. Uh, 
Ah, oh, we're not messing with this. Starting off with the modded grills. Is there anything that suits it? What about this? It does look okay on the car. It actually looks good on this car. I wonder if it was made for that for that specific body. Uh, about the headlights, maybe those. Put this as a second layer. It does clip now, just a bit. I think I have to put it closer. Did it already bug out? Yes, it did. Okay, now it's not clipping. Not much, at least. Uh, it's a Mustang. We can put those halogen lights, but we need a different shape for them. Most frustrating thing, uh, the back of the car. Tiny exhaust. As for the wheels, um, we are going to give it uh, alloy wheels. I think we are mostly done with the car. Uh, make it all wheel drive. What's cheaper? Manual transmission is always cheaper. Make the speed limiter at like 250. What's the difference in price? It's it's way too expensive. We're going to give it viscous LSD. Power distribution slightly more on the on the back of the car, just because it's gonna have a lot of weight in there. Plus one on quality. Now for the tires. Uh, we are going for a medium compound. A slightly increase the, the diameter. I can't put bigger wheels in there. I need to expand the arches just to make them 230s and in front too. Offset uh, wheels in the back. Out of alloy, plus one on quality. Uh, vented discs, huge brakes, like 300s probably. And uh, we will decrease it later. Plus one on quality. No under tray. Uh, increase the brake airflow. Uh, we might even go for... Let's 
65 and 70. Plus one on quality. Uh, premium interior with uh, premium infotainment. Quality plus one. Electric power steering, attraction control and ABS, plus one on quality. There is no difference between 10s and 20s, so we can go for 20s. Active suspension, gas monotubes. And it is likable. Uh, what are the problems? Dumpers are hard. Dumpers are hard. Okay. We can play with this. Rare spring stiffness. What's the problem now? Okay, the, the rare brake force is high. Oh! We do have a problem with... Oh, it's actually good. It's actually really good. We're below 7 liters of... Uh, uh, of fuel economy per 100 kilometers. But it does weigh a lot. Like 2 tons. For a 215 horsepower engine, it's, 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 it's a lot. We have penalty for a body age. It is even good in uh, in off road for some reason. We'll see in detail stats, handling and brakes, suspension. It's. Uh, Spring choice. Just because I went for active suspension. Chassis minus thirteen percent. Environmental resistance. Is it because it's made out of? Aluminum and regular steel. I cannot afford anything that weighs more, so I won't be chasing uh, off road ability of the car. It is safe, it is kinda comfortable. It's less drivable than, than the average car. It is reliable. Okay. I think we're done with the car. Name it. Colus Mustache. Great. Absolute beauty. Export the car. And I think that's it for, for today. See you again soon.